The Flying Irishman The Flying Irishman, Aka Born to Fly, is a 1939 biographical drama film produced by Archaeo Pictures about Douglas Corrigan's unofficial transatlantic flight the previous year in a dilapidated Curtis Robb. The film was directed by Lee Jason based on a screenplay by Ernest Pagano and Dalton Trumbo. The Flying Irishman covers the material of Corrigan's autobiography, That's My Story, from his early life to his return from his wrong way flight. Because of the huge popularity of Corrigan and his flight, the screenplay assumes that the material is already familiar to its audience. Plot In 1938, an unlikely event unfolds as pilot Douglas Corrigan returns to the United States after his transatlantic flight made the wrong way across the Atlantic. The passion to fly was there from an early age as young Douglas faced some hardships as his parents separated, leaving his mother Dorothy Peterson to rear two sons and a daughter. When his mother dies, Douglas becomes the family breadwinner, putting his brother Henry Eddie Quillen through college. With his own funds, he becomes partners with his friend Butch Paul Kelly, an experienced pilot, in the purchase of an aircraft. Doug aspires to attain a pilot's job, but increasing regulation of commercial aviation keeps putting the job beyond his grasp. By the time he gains the experience required, the qualification standards have been increased again. After a series of setbacks, including losing his aircraft in a crash and seeing the qualification requirements include a college degree beyond his means, Doug begins to plan an audacious feat, flying across the Atlantic just like Charles Lindbergh, who also did not have a college education, to prove his exceptional ability. After earning enough money as a welder to purchase and modify a second-hand aircraft, Doug goes into business with Henry as a barnstormer to finance a transatlantic attempt, but Henry eventually tires of the drudgery of ecking out a living day to day. Doug learns about a new commercial airline route to Ireland and decides to make a solo flight to prove his qualifications. In New York, after his plane is grounded by an inspector, Doug's brother arranges a return flight to San Diego, lifting the flight ban. Once in the air, Doug instead heads off to Ireland and 28 hours later makes it successfully to Dublin. When Doug rejects an airline offer of a job as vice president and chief pilot because he only wants to be a pilot, he is told that his goal is impossible because passengers going to Cheyenne want to be confident of arriving at the correct destination. Cast Douglas Corrigan as himself Paul Kelly as Butch Brannan, Robert Armstrong as Joe Alden, the flying instructor, 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 Jean Reynolds as Douglas Corrigan as a boy, Donald McBride as Roy Thompson, Eddie Quillen as Henry Corrigan, Douglas' brother, J.M. Kerrigan as Clyde Corrigan, S.R., Douglas' father was father, Dorothy Peterson as Mrs. Corrigan, Olaf Hitton as radio operator uncredited, Lloyd and Graham as Dr. Uncredited. Production The Flying Irishman was made quickly, with principal photography taking place from November 15 to December 1938 in Van Nuys and Culver City, California, to exploit the huge public interest in the adventure. Although the production attempted to provide an accurate account of his life story, with Corrigan as himself in the lead role, Many of the other parts were played by established character actors, which undermined its attempt at realism. Reception The Flying Irishman was a typical B-film in terms of length and treatment as well as having an obviously uncomfortable individual featured in the lead role, yet the fun of the unlikely tale was conveyed. Frank Nugent of the New York Times charitably called it a freak picture that, nonetheless, wasn't lively, unassuming, natural, and thoroughly entertaining.